Today we're going to be preparing shrimp longies. As you can tell from my apron, which is, has a lot of stains, you can tell it's been used quite a bit. It's a great restaurant in Maui, and uh, the shrimp longies, absolutely incredible. Let's look at the recipe. These uh, ingredients are a little complicated, so hang on. We have olive oil, we have some chilled butter, lemon juice, tomatoes, some fresh minced garlic, and of course basil, uh, which uh, fresh is better, of course, but uh, uh, basil for sure. White wine, some nice fresh French bread, and then the floured shrimp. So we're all set with the ingredients. Let's get started making shrimp longies. We'll begin by sauteing the garlic in the butter. Then we'll take our French bread and dip the French bread in the sauteing garlic and with butter. And we'll do it on both sides, of course. Then, once that's coated, we'll put this bread on a tray on a cookie sheet with a little aluminum foil on it. Put that into the oven to broil. Now that we've put the butter in the pan and melted it, we'll add the olive oil and continue to stir that until it gets kind of frothy. We'll add the shrimp and saute the shrimp. Now that we've sauteed the shrimp, we're going to take them out of the pan, put them over here, then we're going to deglaze the pan with the white wine. Let's pour off this excess butter first. Then we'll take the white wine, deglaze that. Getting all those flavors out of the saucepan. While the wine's reducing, Let's go ahead and add the lemon juice. Well, the wine has been reducing for about, oh, five or minutes or so. Uh, so we're going to thicken this with some butter. Let's take about three tablespoons of butter at a time, add it to that, and more if you need it. But you can just see how it goes, what it takes to get it thick enough to where it sticks to the back of a spoon. We've been melting the butter, getting the consistency just right. Now we're going to add the tomatoes. Mmm, that looks good. Then the basil. Mix that all around very good. All right. Oh, that smells wonderful. I wish you could smell it. Oh, oh, oh. Now we're going to add in the shrimp again just for about 30 seconds, just to heat it all up again and get all of those juices and flavors combined. Combine all this, move it around. That's how I got all these stains on this apron is doing this. And then in about, oh, 30 seconds or so over some fairly high heat, it'll be ready to eat. The French bread soaks up the delicious sauce. If you'd like this recipe in detail, check my website at www.gunselman.com. That's www.gunselman, G-U-N-S-E-L-M-A-N.com.